Have you ever heard this term, interpret videos? Why would you interpret videos? What does it mean? I'm going to show you in this video, okay? <laughs> video, video, video. It's very easy to do and it's brilliant way to actually, if you have a limited frame rate that your camera can do, so if you, for example, shoot 4K or Full HD and you cannot do higher frame rate higher than like... 50 frames per second so you're thinking about how am I going to create this nice cool slow motion what you do is basically film everything in 50 frames per second however you interpret that video which is 50 frames per second as 25 and it's gonna go slower if you don't believe me check it out okay so I have three videos right here current sequence is running at 30 frames per second okay let's make it uh, on actually Social media, okay, you don't have to make it 25. Okay, 30 frames per second. I have a couple of videos. Let's start with this 50 frames per second, which is basically what I want to do um, only. <laughs> so this is a nice squirrel. And if I drag this, so this is Premiere Pro reads that as 50 frames per second because it was recorded at 50 frames per second, okay? I'm going to drag that in my timeline. I can mute this. And I'm going to play it and what you can see, it's very jittery. It's like way too much information per second. So the reason why would you film it is what I mentioned earlier, which is basically to slow it down in the end. So as you can see, like it's jittery. However, I have enough, a lot of information. So where the squirrel is like scratching, every time I kind of like move my arrows frame by frame, you can see like it's not blurred. It's, there's no motion blur. So I have so much information and it's all such a good quality. However, I want to slow this down. So what I do is, and I'm going to leave this next to it. I'm going to pretend this is 25 frames per second. So you're going to right click on the clip that you want to change and you go to modify. Okay. You can also interpret audio channels, but I'm not going to explain this in this video. It's the same principle. Basically, I'm going to click on interpret footage. And I'm going to tell Premiere Pro that I assume this video and just look at the duration of this video. It's 36. Uh, I'm going to assume, okay, Premiere Pro will assume that this is a frame rate of, let's do 30 as their sequence, or actually no, let's do 25 just for the kicks. Duration of this video, 1 minute 27 seconds. Now I'm going to click OK and I'm going to drag that video in here. Do you actually see, we don't need the audio anyway, but... By the way, if you find this video helpful, subscribe, check out the Z thanks button under this video. Do you see literally it is double of the length because it's slower. Okay. So now when I play it and then when I play it on the scratch, look how slower it is. Dun, dun. Everything is like now calm and nice and slow-mo. And because the actual movement is super quick it doesn't look like this cool slow motion but if you film people walking and like not moving like squirrels then you're gonna have this in beautiful slow motion so this is number one okay now this video is interpreted as 25 frames per second this is how we do slow motion this is how you fake slow motion okay but let me show you the last thing i'm gonna explain is this video which shows me it's 25 frames per second. And when I play it, and this is source, by the way, right? When I play it, it's super slow. So how is that possible? Like it's in the source. I didn't even drag it in my timeline. And the same thing goes for this vinyl. So 25 frames per second, and it's super, super slow. So like how it's possible? Because this is actually filmed in 100 frames per second and my camera and all the other cameras understand what you're trying to do if you're filming in higher frame rate you want to intentionally create slow motion there's no way around it like there's no way you would okay let me show you on this one it's gonna be good let me show you what would happen if you literally interpreted this in the real frame rate? Okay, because I filmed this 100 frames per second. So basically, this is how it would look like when I would play it. So I filmed it in 100 and now this is the result. Okay, like why would I use this? 
Like, why would I want to see this? Like, I want to see super cool slow-mo, okay? Of course I want to do this. So what happens, the camera already knows. And that's why when you film something, even with your phone, and you play it back, it's playing it at already interpreted. It interprets the video for you. So don't be surprised if you see 25 frames per second and you see this super slow motion and you'll be like, what's going on? So it's literally interpreted for you, okay? I hope you found this video helpful. This is all for me. Um, I love everything about the interpreting. If you have any questions, comment below. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Check out the thanks button under the video. Listen to my podcast. Follow me on Instagram. Do everything. Because I did help. I mean, it was a good tip, wasn't it? So give the love back, you know. I'll see you next time.